All right, so here we have two Tetons. The blue one on the right is a stock Teton. The pink one on the left is my new updated version of a Teton. Let's see what we have underneath. Okay, so we'll start with the stock one. Stock has the factory of the tracks powertrain. You know, running that Latrax ESC with the uh, 7.4 volt battery. Nothing spectacular. Over here, we have the 12 turn Titan 550 out of my uh, factory slash 4x4. Added a support bracket up above. That's an old battery support out of my stock slash 4x4. Over here, mounted the ESC, the XL5. Updated the jive shafts to metal to handle the power. Then I took and got some wish wheels. As you can see in there, you'll probably see better on another video of mine about the uh, Proline spacers I'm about to explain. So the tires I stretched over top of those wish wheels are off of some like Walmart brand RC and they work pretty well, they don't balloon. But these are Proline wheel mounts for Proline tires and you know hubs of their wheels but I took and mounted them on these wish wheels for a wider offset because this thing rolls pretty easy with all this power. Added some assistance springs on the inside of those coils. Can't remember what I got them out of. Some type of toy or something. I don't know. Might have been another RC that was from Walmart. So I got a 2S battery up here. That one I also made off of a damaged broken part. This is all damaged or broken or you know replaced parts or upgraded parts on other RCs that I've taken and put together on this Teton for fun. But uh... Anyway, this battery in another video I made, I damaged a 3S battery and replaced, or I removed one cell and now I've got a 2S battery that I can charge with a Traxxas charger and run on my Teton. Mounts right underneath there. The straps I used to mount it, I got from a $10 bicycle light at Walmart. And then obviously, gotta talk about the rear bumpers I've added. The bolts I used were for, I think, camber links on uh, Slash. They fit perfectly in the Lego holes, the dowel pin holes, and then they lined up perfectly with the, uh, you know, the holes that are in the factory Teton bumper in the rear. But I did all this with just parts I had laying around, and this thing is pretty gnarly. The thing that started the whole build was that pinion gear, that 26 tooth pinion gear I ordered from Amazon. They sent me the wrong pitch, so I had to put it to use. And then I got the idea to build this Teton. I mounted the motor pretty simply by just using a hose clamp. It's hooking underneath here. Just cut a little slit with a Dremel. You know, obviously I lined it up and made sure that's where I needed it to be. And then like, that center brace I had to notch out around the motor. Obviously I had to cut the uh, gear cover a little bit. You know, I'm gonna fab up a piece of plastic to go over there. Then, after some fun, I uh, damaged that upper support there. The factory one's plastic. So I think I tore apart like an old stereo or something. And that was the heat sink that piece of aluminum so I ended up drilling some holes on it took the Dremel filed it down and you know countersunk all those screws and everything it worked out perfect it beats uh, having to go spend money on a uh, upper support or no actually an upper bulkhead because that upper support didn't have those uh, ball joints threaded into them as you can see that upper control arm there I threaded that into aluminum down below, there's nothing there in the plastic, but it didn't damage the bulkhead or the differential casing, so 
I was able to get away with just repairing it with that piece of aluminum. So, in a second, I'll show you how they perform. Okay, so this is going to be a takeoff of a stock Teton. It's got torque. We'll do a donut. This is an example of my upgraded Teton built with spare or broken parts from other RC cars. It's a beast. That's my video of my upgraded Teton. I uh, hope you guys like it. Subscribe. There will be a lot more where that came from. Thanks.